Hi everyone, and today I'm going to be unboxing my order from Venomous Visions. I just wanna feel your love. Okay, so I'm about to open my box from Venomous Visions. Thank you, Tony Webb. So, as you can see, it says live animals, handle with care. Don't you just love it when the postman, it says put this way up, but the postman doesn't put it that way up. Uh, it is in boxes. So there's his cart. I love these Scalapendra species, I'm assuming. Cherry red, I think. I love that. Venomous visions. Okay. I highly recommend buying from Tony. He's a really good seller. Let me just put all this on the floor. Hate colours on there. Wow. I don't want to gaze everywhere. Uh, yeah. Ooh, more copper stone. Oh yeah, this is wrapped very well. Oh, he's a beauty. Look at that guy. Look at him. Scolopendra Dahani. Oh, I'm in love with him. Colours on that. The camera really isn't picking it up, but... Colours on that centipede. Anyway, so there's him, and I'm really excited about these guys. These are my Sunset Java Leg Phyropygus species of centipede. No, Phyropygus is the genus. Um, again, I'll put the names of the centipede and millipede up when I edit the video. Um, bear with me a sec. So this is a this is a pair, sexed pair, which I'm happy about. Uh, as you can see, they're wrapped around all the moss, so it's kind of hard to get a good f photo of them. But they've got bright, it's like a yellow white leg. There's two of them in here. Well, when I show you the rehousing, obviously, I'll. I'll show you them in all their glory, but yeah. Okay, so I managed to get him out. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, these will grow to about 30 centimetres, it's only half the size at the moment, it's around 15, but these will start breeding right now. This is a male, as you can see, because it's got the double band in the front of the head.
Yeah, what a great species. Okay, so I'm just gonna just about to rehouse the scallop Hendra Dahani. And uh yeah. Soil to be paper fiber to be too high because it will escape. I've got a little pot in there. Okay, so I'm going to work out what to do now. I'm just going to try and cover it but I'm just going to leave it. I'll drag some sphagnum moss. I think that looks good. I have this little guy. Don't know how this is going to be like. I'm gonna wash this moss off quickly because it does not smell right. I'll wash the moss off. I don't know why it would smell it like that, but yeah. Time to add the same. Got the tweezers up ahead in case he. I'm just trying to work out how to do this and not just chucking it in first. Trying to get a good shot on him. Okay, so there he is. Okay. Move this a bit. But yeah, he um. It is pretty. I love the orange on him. Okay, so I'm just going to add the water fish now.
give her a bit of a spray down. Okay guys, so that is the finished look for the centipede house. I think it looks alright. So a little pot in there, not that she'll actually use that for a water dish. Her moss to keep some humidity in there. And yeah. Okay, so here's one final look at the sunset java legs before I put them in their enclosure. Okay, so I'm about to add my sunset java leg millipedes into the new um, communal enclosure. That's right. I'm going to add her in there. Oh. She's alright. He, should I say, that's the male. And here's the female. There you go. It takes a while to focus. I'm going to chop down a little one. And there she goes. I'm just going to drop the rest of this moss in there. Okay, so I've added them in, they've just gone and hid now. They're completely gone now. But this is what my millipede communal enclosure looks like. I've got over six species in here now. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. It's nice and natural looking. But yeah, uh, I will be doing a video later on about this. Saying what species are having it and how to look after millipedes, but yeah, that's just a quick look. Okay, well, thanks for watching this short video again, guys. And if you're not, please subscribe and like the video. I'd appreciate if you share the video too. Thank you.